Welcome to the next episode of Doja Tech where we talk all things tech. Check it out. On today's show, we're going to be talking about two graphics cards in the 6400 line. Now, it seems as if they dropped the 6400 kind of like without telling us, right? Like there was no fanfare, advertisements. I didn't get any emails or anything like that, right? So it was kind of like under the radar. But we're going to take a look at them if we need them, what they're capable of, things of that nature. Now, we're looking at the Speedster. We're going to be looking at two, the Speedster, and we're going to be looking at the ASRock Challenger. Both 6400, and both of them actually um, sport the same specs. So, we're looking at 4 gig, 64 bits of GDR6. We're looking at a core clock of 1,923 megahertz. Boost clock, 2,321 megahertz. We're looking at one HDMI 2.0 output. We are also looking at another DisplayPort 1.4. Now, the form factors, they, they are low profile form factor. Now, that's what we have for the specs. Now, who can use this graphics card? The influencers out there are gonna tell you this, 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 this card is trash. You know, totally, um, shit on it for you know lack of a better term <laughs> the people that can use this graphic card keep in mind everyone who's building isn't necessarily building because they want to play games now who the benefit from this card is people that just basically want to watch youtube people that want to look at their instagram and facebook they want to pay bills online they just need a graphic output right so this is who that's for. You're not going to be doing any heavy gaming on this graphics card. It's not really made for that. You can try and maybe get 40 frames a second, something like that. But outside of that, this is not the graphics card if you're looking for gaming. Now, if you're looking at other applications that are not graphics intensive, then you're good to go. You know, everyone is not looking for gaming people use graphics cards for all types of applications now the problem with getting any reviews about this on online and through the other influences is that they basically going to compare this graphics card to a 3090 ti <laughs> here's the problem with that that like me i live in new york a graphic the the, the 3090 ti costs around two thousand dollars I can get a decent car, well, not a decent car, I can get a car that runs and will get me up the block for $2,000. So, everyone's not looking for a 3090 Ti. Everyone doesn't need it. So, it kind of throws you off when you're looking for reviews for these type, these lower tier graphics cards and they're constantly getting dumped on all the time. So. You kind of like how they how they say you got to take it with a grain of salt. You know, use your own judgment. You know, what do you need this graphics card for? Because everyone doesn't need a graphics card, like I said before, for gaming. Um, there's a lot of benefits that come from graphics cards as far as your computer's performance. Um, that's not always graphics related. There's a lot of applications that may use the processing power of your graphics cards to enhance processing and a, a whole bunch of other things. You could talk to crypto miners about that. <laughs> On a different note, here's another thing. It's like, for the people that's, let's say, make an active choice to not buy this graphics card, that's one thing. But one way or another, this graphics card is gonna get bought. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go try to buy a pre-built from I Buy Power. You can get them from Amazon. You can get a, a pre-built iBuy Power from Best Buy also. And they're gonna splash right across the advertisement, gaming computer. And when you look in it, you're gonna find this graphics card in it. So <laughs> that's another thing you gotta watch out for. If you don't buy it now, you will be buying it later, one way or another. If not, use someone else. But um, as far as the influencers are concerned, you really need to um, 
watch those reviews and, you know, just be careful as to how far you take that advisement. You know, really base it on what do I need a graphics card for? Am I a gamer? I don't play games. I just want to watch YouTube. I want to jump on Instagram. I want to hop on TikTok. And you don't need a lot of graphics power for that. You don't need a 3060. You don't need a 3080 or a 90 for, you know, anything like that. Um, it would be complete overkill for you, you know, to get into that and not use its full capabilities. But um, other than that, people, I'm here for the people. I'm here for the people. So, you know, <laughs> I'll add your boy Doja Tech. Please, if you found this review useful, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It don't take but one second. And, um, I'll let your boy next time. Doja Tech.